Hello everyone, this is Susan Blanchard, otherwise known as the Purposeful Cook. And today I want to show you um, when you have joined a party such as this of mine, I always have a summary of what will happen, the dates of the party, etc. And it's in the announcements, it will always be pinned to the top. So that's where you can find your links down here of who you want to order from. In this case, this is considered a block party. So we have multiple hosts on this um, particular party. So for today's demonstration, what I want to show you is why you want to create a wish list and how you can do that on your party. Number one, your wish list can um, can be shared. So if you have people that struggle with what to get you, fill up your wish list and then you can they can link to your wish list. You can send that to them for Christmas, your birthday, Mother's Day, Father's Day, all of those things that people just, you know, don't know what to do for you. And uh, so that's a wonderful reason to have a wish list. The other thing is while you are having your party and you see something that you like or you're searching through the uh, catalogs and you see something, add it to your wish list. By the end of the party, when you're ready to order, then you will um, just add it to the cart from your wish list. All right, so let me show you how. In the announcements, again, we have the two party givers, Mary and Susan. And so let's just go to this one. That, this is how you would order your products from a party. So when you get here, you actually have a couple of other options as well. So you can, I don't believe the text has been working for me lately. So you can invite them through Facebook. You can invite them to this party through email or just copy the link and send it in the messenger or text either way. And if you scroll down over here and you hit shop now, then at the top right corner, you will see where you can perform, you can uh, start a wish list. So just click there. Sorry, I'm in the country, so my computer runs a little slow. And if you've not, if you don't have a wish list, you can just get started here, and it'll go through, you know, uh, connecting you, creating a an account. Before you actually start placing your orders, you'll need to create yourself an account. So, um, and then. Or if you want to find a, a wish list of someone that you believe might have one already established, then you could search for them here and then order for them. Um, so I'm just going to show you once I've created a wish list, then you can go and manage your wish list. And actually what I found out is when you're creating a wish list, you can do different types of wish lists uh, depending on season. So you could do one for Christmas. You could have some set up for all sorts of different reasons. And I just happened to be messing around in here. And so let's go to, I have set up, set up two. So let's just go look at mine. And it says it's public so that others can see it. If they want to send me something, they are more than welcome to do so. <laughs> So here's my little wish list, and let's say I'm attending a party, I'm signed into my account, I can just hit add to cart, or I can delete, I can also add to um, this wish, wish list at any time. So I hope that you see the advantages of keeping your wish list updated, and don't forget to send that link to people uh, during the holidays or you know if someone's struggling. 
have a great party and um, thank you for visiting.